Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 1 practice test for Teen Ready. Question number two on the 2019-20 practice test. It could be anywhere else. So if you're watching this and it has a different number in the title, it means they've changed it and I've updated the video without reshooting it. Question number two says, Grace and her brother, who goes unnamed, maybe he is also named Grace, uh, need $400 to go to band camp. Their parents have agreed to help them earn money by paying them $25 each time they mow the lawn and $10 for each hour they babysit their younger brother. They will have to do a combination of both chores to earn the money. Select the equation that represents the number of lawns they can mow and hours they can babysit to earn $400. Now, the reason that you'd use an equation here is because you don't have to earn all your money doing one or the other. You simply have to have the total pot of money that you end up with, the total amount, um, be 400 bucks. That way they can go to camp. So, how does that work? Well, we can say, like, well, say they mow the lawn one time. Well, that's $25. The next time they mow the lawn, two times you do 25 plus 25 for three. You do plus. See how long that this could take forever. Say that they did it 12 times. I don't want to write that all out. That's why multiplication exists, specifically because we can say, take the number of times they do it, so 25 plus 25 is 50, also 25 times 2 is 50, 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 75, 25 times 3 is 75 as well, now it's like 7s, I'm going to fix that. So, instead of saying, well, 25 plus a bunch 25s, we'll say 25 times the number of times that they mow the lawn. One of the key things here is to make sure that you get your variables matched correctly to the right number. This is the amount tied to mowing the lawn. The variable tied to mowing the lawn is m. So I need to have 25m there. See this nonsense here? A nope. This nonsense here? Nope. Because m does m represents mowing the lawn, and that's the only thing they get paid $25 for. So it has to be either this or this. The same thing happens incidentally with babysitting, for each hour of babysitting. It's 10 for babysitting, and each hour they define in the question itself as B. So all I have to do is figure out, well, how do I combine those two together, or what do I do to make it end up at the 400 that I need? I'm going to slide this over a little bit because I realize the back of my blue tick screen is being shown in the corner over there. Now you may go back and look, who knows. But... Uh, the subtraction thing makes literally no sense. It would almost be saying that they earn money every time they mow the lawn, and every time that they babysit their younger brother, they lose money. It's like the parents are charging them to babysit, which is the meanest thing that I can think. Like, it's certainly not the meanest thing, but it's pretty pretty bold move, and it's pretty mean to do that. Um, you watch your younger brother for an hour, and I'm gonna, it's going to cost you 10 bucks. What? It's crazy. So I take the amount of money that I make from my stream of income for mowing the lawn, I take my babysitting stream of income and I want to add those two things together and that's going to give me that 400 bucks. So this, no sense, this one looks good. The reason these two failed again is because they didn't apply the appropriate variable to the appropriate number. By the way, you will notice that the correct answer is addition and M is also an addition. Well, you could see it better if I erase that, but... Um, the addition is also here. They're trying to get you to jump on this one without paying any attention. This is not a difficult question. It's super easy to get wrong if you're not careful. That's the thing about the T and Ready test and integrated math in general. A lot of the algebra that you do in this class doesn't require you to be a genius. It just requires you to be careful. And people who are really smart or average at it or not great at it but still get the right answer often lose points because they're not being careful on test day. So use the time that you're allotted wisely to just do a little quick check over and make sure that you apply the correct variable to the correct number and then the operation part should, I think logically you could figure that part out yourself. Just be prepared and be careful and you'll do just fine.